Well, this is my homemade um, flatbed stoker. Works all right. You'll be able to see that. That's the the drive mechanism. Um, based on one that I saw a picture of on the internet. Um, as is the size of the burner, um, grate and everything. It's the grate's made out of a. Um, cast iron barbecue plate that I cut up, uh, the, fitted inside a 6 inch box section, um, the sides are bolted in, the bottom is a tap in fit and it's sealed um, with um, stove cement around all around the edges and that so the air can only get out through the, the holes in the grate. Only, I need a faster motor for it. It's got a 1 RPM motor on at the moment. I'm going to get a, a 2 RPM. Um, that should um, open things up a bit, but it puts out a surprising amount of heat actually. Um, there's an ash bin under it that holds about probably about um, 2 US gallons, I suppose. Um, it won't hold the entire contents of the hopper, so if I have a power out before I've got my control um, dead man's relay made up, I'm going to end up having to dig dig it out. But, um, geez. Can't really see. That's the coal. It's a, um, Subbituminous coal um, actually works really well. Um, it alters from the a lot of the ones I've seen on the internet. Instead of just having a flat plate that slides backwards and forwards, there's actually a block mounted on the back of it, so it, it pushes forward and then pulls back on on uh, pushes the coal forward rather than just the, at the plate carrying it forward and then sliding back. What I was found was happening is the, the ash you can see there is actually sort of a clinker type stuff. Um, it'll hang sort of two inches over the end of the bed and then break off. Um, but it was slowing the fire or slowing the pushing down enough that um, the coal wasn't pushing forward, that the plate was just sliding backwards and forwards and not actually doing a lot. So I put the pushing block on it. Yes, and the dog wants to help. <laughs> um, the pushing block on it, and it pushes, you know, it pushes the coal out. And that works quite nicely. Um, we haven't really had a real cold snap yet, but I've had to keep the stove turned down um, during the day to stop it from sort of overheating the house. It's been running for about a week now, and um, yeah, I haven't actually had a problem with it. That plate that you see sitting over the top of the bed, or over the top of the, um, just behind the fire there, that ensures that any gases that gas off ahead of the flame um, are pushed out through the flame. There's another plate below it that makes sure that the coal, if it does clinker on the bed, is pushed down and doesn't try and just bunch up behind the clinker, which it was doing. That works really well, that just allows it to push straight through. Um, so yeah, all in all it works quite well and uh, I've got a couple of computer fans on the back and it's there's an, there's a shroud over the top. Um, that top cover is a, a shroud, there's an uh, inch flat bar on edge um, mounted at inch spacings, spacings uh, that blows the air through and that goes from um, the the chimney goes out below where you can see the uh, burner there. The chimney actually goes out well below that and it's 
fully heat sinked up the back and over the top so it actually punches out uh, quite a bit of heat. It's actually quite uncomfortable sitting where I am um, filming. You wouldn't want to be sitting here for you know, any extended period of time. Um, but yeah, it works alright and does its thing and keeps my house warm for about, it's using about a five US 5 gallon bucket of coal a day. Um, I don't know how much that weighs, probably around the probably around the 40 pound mark um, but yeah it does its thing and works quite nicely and faster motor and I'll basically won't have anything more I need to do to it I've got another motor on order um, it's just a standard Mallor um, Mallory Mallor uh, pallet stove motor um, that works quite well. That's all.